things are going to get a little bright and a little sparkly in this. It's going to get hairy, kids! So just uh, be careful. And if you feel lightheaded, feel free to pause our video. We love you anyway. Get some sunglasses. I don't care. <laughs> That's a good one. Bruce Blade! I'm going to rig these rusty chins and Smith gold. Hey, that worked. Smith steel turns steel into fire. Yeah, we were, we were just talking between episodes about how Chris Cornell is such a hard cat to pin down. Okay, okay, sorry, can we just mention the how fantastic the <laughs> yes, animation is? <laughs> Doesn't this look like a Harry Potter type bellows yeah. that it's like alive? It's like... <gasps> 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 the sorting... What is this called? This, the blower, the bellows, the, the sorting blower, and it's just like everything it says is just like you will be <laughs> <laughs> the blowing bellows, the blowing bellows. You killed me and turned me into a bellows. Oh, but yeah, Chris Cornell's in three bands, using his own solo stuff, Audio Slave, and Soundgarden. So it just makes it hard because he's everywhere. Do you know who the guitarist was in uh, sound, uh, Audio Slave? Uh, yes. Oh, no. Fuck, who was it? No, no, it's the whole band except for Chris Cornell was Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, that's it. Everyone except for the lead singer. That's why there's a lot of uh, similar stuff. I love uh, Rage, though. I love the way that the bass takes uh, so much. It's not hot enough to be hammered. Oh. Are you going to put it in the fire? I think, yeah, I guess. There you go. Wow, Ooh. this is neat. Yeah, this is it's really they neat. put this kind of attention into the rest of the game. Well, well okay, I don't know. I it's kind of there. Gotta, you got to make the flame bigger. See, Raise now it's the hot. flames. Now I put it there. Oh, bam. Oh, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> is it saying now? Your you hammer? hammered the blade into shape. Awesome. Nice. And then... okay, tell, me, tell me it's just as good. As what you already have. That'd it's going to be so the exact same, funny. yeah. It's just going to be another fucking short sword. They just put this in here for no reason. <laughs> what are you doing, though? Like, what's the I think point I have to cool this? it back down. We're, we're oh. just making a sword. I don't know why we're making a sword, though. Are you supposed to put it in there? I don't know. I don't I know where I can... I think you have it. Check, check it out. Check, I don't, I don't think it's, check it out. I don't think it's done. No, it's not done. Well, read the instructions. Read the see. This is this is why men fail because they choose not to read these. Oh, Jesus. oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, using the lever, raise the water. Take the blade once it has been cooled and place it in the embers. Wait for it to glow red hot. Take it out of the embers and place it on the anvil. Take up the hammer, and hammer the powerful blade. Once it is cooled and hard, use the leather straps. Okay, so I think I know what I did wrong. I reheated it after I hammered it. Mm. You know, just do that. You can't read after you. You can't read. Don't retweet. Just reheat. <laughs> so you take it from here, and then you place it in here. Hey, Twitter twat, sword. that's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Don't touch that, Twitter twat. <laughs> don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you make it out of fire. Don't you smack it with your hammer. Don't you... Swords are the perfect companion for warriors. Sure, they are not as subtle as the staff or the daggers, but they're equally reliable and lethal in each and every situation may use force on the battlefield. A long sword, nothing. Speak, speaking of Twitter, uh, I think it's so funny to see. Uh, I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're into this. The the sort of like the the culture, the culture. But uh, a lot of a lot of people like to make uh, accusations or start up arguments with others via Twitter, and they'll just like tweet at someone, like you fucking bitch. How could you be this way? Yeah. And it's one of the funniest things to watch because to me, making this like really complicated. Uh, story or a complicated topic on Twitter is like starting up a conversation with someone you know while you're on an escalator and they're going the other way. <laughs> it's just like, hey, how you doing? Oh, I, I'm doing really well. How's your mother? Yeah, it's barely enough to form an opinion. It's barely enough yeah. to get an idea out. And so someone's just like, you're a piece of shit and I can't believe you'd ever do something like this. And it's like, you had 40, you had 40 characters to get all of that out, which means that you have to like multi-tweet and then it's not a direct message. It's not like they they have to respond to you. And I've seen the smartest decision is to not respond. Actually, oh yeah, people drive themselves nuts. Yeah, there are people who are new to the the concept of internet trolling that uh, have just been fucked hard. Just like hours of of Twitter fights, and they don't realize that it's funnier and funnier to people the longer you fight on Twitter. 
Yeah, and then you kind of have your hooks into a person after you've started to troll them. Mm. Because then they get more and more upset, and it's easier and easier to troll them. I try to take a sort of like a positive, kind of like a joking version. Well, the show has made me really, really happy uh, because it's given me a different view on content. That what you're playing... I cut his head off. ...could be... Um, good job. <clears throat> Just because you're not doing well doesn't mean you can't be enjoying yourself. So there's times where I've been playing a game and there's a person clearly uh, antagonizing people and they're gloating or uh, bragging. And I kind of just appreciate it from like a viewer standpoint where I'm like, okay, well done. You know, hey, I don't agree with what happened, well. but okay. You know, like in, in like a game like Rainbow Six Siege where the game ends and you see everyone's characters and all their skins and shit. And the guy who did clearly well, better has like the expensive ass skins that you know he spent like 20 bucks just on that character. Ooh. And you're like, all right, well, hey man, you spent 20 bucks on that character. You better be fucking good with him. Yeah, and you must play him a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I had something else about the Twitter thing. That's fine. This this game uh, kind of brings us down to like a like a soft level. Soft level, like a we like. So far, our sessions start off with like a lot of yelling, and then just kind of like, well, it's time to talk about something else because this game doesn't offer a huge amount of variety in gameplay. Yeah, it's not the most exciting game. That's something I'm kind of critical of uh, Borderlands for. Is that uh, as fun as it is, the gameplay kind of comes down to uh, does it? Uh, is it melee? Is it a shooter? Can it do both? That's it. That's yeah, about as far as it goes. It like, really is. It's really just different looking things that do all of those same things. Um, I recently picked up the Handsome Collection. It's the Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel redone in 1080p 60 frames. And it's, that's... Uh, it's nice. It's, of, like, it's the whole thing? Yeah, both of the two and all the DLCs and stuff. Whoa. Yeah. And then the pre-sequel as well? No, no, I didn't have number one for some reason. I think that's they. they I think they one. may have already done that. No, the pre-sequel is, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, the, the pre-sequel -se pre is, um... Hey, this is some bullshit. We keep finding these sick bows, but we can't use them. I know, it's because you're the warrior. Yeah, but why, like, we haven't found one sword. Yeah. You keep finding swords all the time. They're just the same sword. But that's the thing. Like, we keep finding these creative bows. Like, that one was made of ice. Yeah. Why don't we get a fucking single sword that's made of fire or something? Well, the bow is probably a huge disadvantage at the beginning of the game. Yeah, well, there's also a lot of arrows. It's like when you start, um... When you start up in Skyrim as a mage, you're seriously disadvantaged because you have one fucking spell and your mana's not good enough. So you're kind of just hoping that it's all going to work. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Skyrim's a weird game for, for magic because Oblivion magic was so powerful. Very powerful. So I, many options. I do not like it when a game regresses. Like GTA 4 <clears throat> had no... Uh, um, it had no uh, car customization. Did GTA or did San Andreas, San Andreas had a massive amount of? Oh, that's true. Stuff. It had a it had a garage you could go to where you could customize anything that wasn't a hot vehicle. That's a hot vehicle agent. I'm not touching that. Wow, I just lost all my energy. Like it just like left the door. Just sucked right out yeah. of you. <laughs> I just went from like singing. It's probably the singing. I guess it's well. It's also what you're stimulated by, right? Because like when we get into a, like a low energy yeah. conversation, you become low energy. It's like you're supposed to, really. But I think it's uh, it's partly a matter of the game, but also partly a matter of just like how we're conducting ourselves. Am I supposed to fight this guy? Nope, nope, can't fight him. Nah, you gotta be quiet. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to sneak in. I um. What can you do to draw their attention? Oh, <laughs> she is so off. I yeah. swear she's not even like she's like. It's like it's like when I uh, when I when I uh, don't properly sync the the audio to the game, and it's like really hard to watch. She's like that. She's like off synced. She's like five seconds off. Cause she's like you jumped across something, and she's like, "Don't be afraid to jump across." As though you were gonna walk to the edge and be like, "I've never encountered this." Three hours into the game. Well, in either way, it's like I'm a person. I understand. I understand that you can't fall Dude, off of things. Dead man's trail. We're playing fucking DMT. DMT. DMT, dog. DMT. You ready to have some visceral fucking dreams, kid? Get your visceral head blown off. Okay, so I got to crouch and sneaks around. I can actually run here. So what's my goal? Release these citizens? 
Sure. I mean, he seems to be interested in getting released. Let you out. Pay attention when you open the cells. The, the villagers keep trying to escape. Wow. <laughs> These guards must be dumb as fuck. <laughs> I love that shit. It's just like, really? What? The prisoners keep what? trying to escape? Look at this. This is where he was being held. Yeah, oh, there's two side, gates. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought it was open. <laughs> I thought it was just totally open. Oh my god, that would have been so amazing. That would have been pretty embarrassing. Did you hear that laser sound when it went back down? Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Dude, I love Star Wars laser sounds, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, she said to do it. Oh. Get out of here. Oh no. That's like you're part of this bullshit. Here, you can go too. That might have been an exit. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. Well, let's go see to that Leon. This woman is so inappropriate. You're in the fucking belly of the beast, and she's like, Oh, such a marvelous impulse. Go back to the sewers. It's so specific. Shantiri Crystal. They've sealed the exit. Find the river. It's sealed? Find the uh, river. Yeah, I, think they, I think they turned, I think they closed the yeah, gate. Yeah, they closed the gate. There we yeah. go. That's the way out. So you kind of need gates. to hear what she's saying. That's actually like the only way to really know where you're going. Sending you to the free city of to meet a sorcerer named you're sending me to what the is, free city? What is happening here? Is this a flashback now? Must be, yeah. Uh, or someone else's memory. They didn't really give us much of a character designation, did they? No, no. You, we just designed a, our person, but... You're just a dude. What was that? Did you remember that? We designed our character. Have we seen him once? We actually chose what he looked like? Yeah. I don't even remember that. Pretty sure. Um, like, we didn't customize him that much. What, did you have, like, head options and shit? I thought we had male-female options. Oh, yeah. What did you choose? I think a male. You fucking chauvinist pig. Or maybe, I don't even remember now, because I've never seen him. Her. What are you, ableist, racist, and generally biased and towards others? Yeah, something like that. Super callous, fragile, racist, oh. Nazi. Super callous, fragile, racist. Was were those boobs? Um, was she demon naked? boobs? Was she naked? She was naked under the clothes. Were those doobs? <laughs> that was demon D demon boobs. boobs. Not not like a doobie. I guess they would be doobies. Yeah, like yeah, they would be doobies. I like to smoke those doobies of you. Know <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know. A good pair of doobies is always welcome here. <laughs> Sucking on doobies. Yes, those are boobies. Easy there, you're in the sewer now. Why am I always waking up at the start of these missions? Yeah, you wake up so often. Can I ever go from one mission to another without losing consciousness? What is this, fucking System of a Down song? It's over. I'm down. Do you, do wake you, up. You've heard, uh, you've heard Richard Cheese before, right? Richard Cheese? Yeah. I don't think so. He does parlor music uh, covers of, um... Okay. Why does she have a health bar again? Because we can kill her. Why would you? Nice! It's and, actually the opposite. If you do, please, you lose. Aw. Um... Alright. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah. Richard Cheese would do covers of metal music in parlor style. Yeah, lost. Stop losing. I kicked her once. They're so not <laughs> accepting of you doing anything against the rules. Imagine designing a character and you're like, okay, the main character does damage to this player, they lose. And it, <laughs> is it going to tell them? No, it's just going to go straight to the lose screen. Straight to voice mod, kid. Straight to the lose screen. <clears throat> like I just feel like it's imagine in in like a Fallout game if you did any damage to someone actually maybe that that is how it works. I guess you can't Fallout? attack people. Certain enemies, yeah. Uh, certain people can't die in the in Bethesda games though. It just seems like people should be able to take a knock and be like, hey, don't do that. Yeah, you know? I be kicked able to. her. I didn't stab her in the head. The, I don't think a lot of programming was done with this game. No. But it, it works remarkably well, considering the things they didn't bother to think about. I'm enjoying it. Okay, I'm gonna throw this barrel one more time. But I swear you've heard Richard Cheese before. 
Richard Cheese. Like he'll do like he'll he'll do like a cover of Down with the Sickness, and it's like, oh hey, get down with the sickness, get up, hey. Oh, oh yeah, he does the ballroom the covers. Sickness. Hey, yeah, yeah. I call it parlor music, but oh yeah, same thing. Or house music, that's what it's called, house music. House music. You know, it sounds e- like EDM. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's no. Uh, no. You know the um. You know the joke there. Wait. No. With his name, the cheese joke. Richard Cheese. Dick Cheese. Dick Cheese. Oh. Yeah. Just it's just quietly sitting there. Yeah, Richard. Richard being turned into Dick still makes no sense to me. He's never made. It's any like sense it's like to robbed me. a Bob, right? Mmm. A little. A little it's not weird. Bobbert. Yeah, but there's a difference between William to Bill oh, and Richard right. to Dick. That's like if it was like Derek to cunt hair. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like it matches. Oh my god. Right? No, it doesn't it just seem like it's one of those weird things that it's like, I get I get that at some period in time this was fine, oh. but also, people used to say, fuck, they're shooting cannonballs at me. I was just explaining to somebody that they were like, they were like, what type of show is it? And I'm like, well, as far as the rating goes, that's what they meant. And they were like, I said, you know, most episodes of Bros Play end up being 18 plus uh, with an occasional R-rated episode out of fucking nowhere. I love how you just took it from like like teen to R in a, yeah. in a single in second. One word. <laughs> but it to me it just seems like that's something that you can choose. It's not like you name your kid Dick. You name them Richard, and then the kid gets to choose. Right. Like there used to be a time when solid Dick used to be an expression for straight talk. Solid Dick. Yeah. Like there's a scene in uh, in a comic book where uh, I think it's Iron Man says. Uh, Seems like he could use a, a little bit of solid dick from an Iron Man. <laughs> and it just seems so weird. That's amazing. Because it's like you're always saying, if it doesn't work, don't do it. Mm-hmm. If your name sounds weird having dick in it, don't do it. Just don't put it in there. But why do those names have that? Because it, it is Rob to Bob, right? Yeah, yeah. Why? Robert becomes Bob and, and William becomes Bill. I think those things are just like heavily traditional things. You know, that's... They just came from somewhere and never stopped. We also have to understand that there's a bunch of different eras in history, and like one thing that could be a factor, even though I'm just bullshitting on this one, uh, people had to sign their names back in the day, and a lot of people didn't know how to write. Mm. So if your name is like Robert or William, and you can just write R O B or B O B, it's a hell of a lot easier, and it's better than writing an X. Well, it's a lot better than believing that the world is flat. Yeah, yeah, maybe not, maybe not. You know about that, right? Yeah, that's just the B O B doom. Yeah. I, I actually, lo- my, my buddy said this thing to me, and it sounded like he was telling, like, a stand-up joke the way he said it. He was like, do you know where B.O.B. comes from? And I went, no, I just assumed it was some sort of an acronym. He's like, dude's name's Bob. <laughs> and I looked at him like he was crazy, and I, you know, I said, well, like, what do you mean? He's like, no, his name's Bobby Flay. Like, that's the guy's name, Bob. Yeah. B.O.B. And I actually, like, I was actually in tears. I was laughing so hard because it... It seems so absurd, like two chains. Obviously, his name has nothing to do with two chains. So you just assume Bob is going to be the same way, but nope. Just I don't have any examples. I wish I had examples of what other rappers' names. Of like people would just like, oh, that's that makes sense. Well, like, like I Dubs, like, his name is Ian. That's where the I comes from. Oh, okay. Um, people people question what his last name is. Uh, and there's two different names, and I can't remember what they are. Ian Dubs would be a sweet name. They're not pretty. They're not sure which one it is, but I'm pretty sure his last name just starts with a W. That would make a lot of sense. I Dubs. Oh, Dubs. Interesting. Yeah. Gotcha. I see how that works. I see how that works. I don't think you see it. I just heard him. By I think stepping you on heard, him. I think you hear how it works. I don't think you. Jeez. <laughs> I killed him hard. and then and then just sucked myself to the <laughs> to this ladder as if I was going up. Can I go through this blasted wall? Oh, the blasted wall! You know what? Fuck this wall. It's been blasted. And fuck this door. And fuck the ladder. And fuck that relic. And fuck the guards. The guards are coming. The guards are coming. I don't think I've gotten full relics on any of these missions yet. I don't think Maybe I one. fully understand anything that's going on in this game. Yeah, I also feel like I've missed a lot of stuff, even though maybe I haven't. Dude, that that's a fucking wall, dude. It's oh, a right. spiky wall. Just pet the spiky wall. A simple key. Nice to go through other people's things. Fuck you. 
You're yeah, in she's my weird. You're in my fucking head talking to me about how it's rude to go through people's things. Fuck you. I don't know what her like this lady. deal is or why she's in our head, but yeah, I don't know. Like why is she all fucking sexual with it? It's so unnecessary. When she first met you, I get it. She's trying to intimidate you. Like, hi there. I could use a young strapping lad to open the doors for me. But now she's he's fucking infiltrating and she's like, it's not it's rude to fucking get the objective. Yeah, exactly. I need that key to move forward. You're telling me to go forward. Is it not up there? I don't think so. No. Is it something we have to unlock? Also, conveyance isn't that good in this game. Conveyance! Yeah, no, it's... There's some games okay. like Skyrim where it's like... There it is. You can kind of tell. Like, one way is going to lead you to a small area, and the other way is clearly the way forward, and I really like that. I think it's important. That's one thing that bothers me about God of War. It's never immediately <laughs> yeah, obvious. It's just two different directions, and you're just lucky. And you might, like, walk through a door, and you can't go back. And you're like, well, I guess I have to load... To get, like, I don't know, some red orbs and shit. Yeah, it seems like the best way in God of War is to just not care if you hit all the... Whoa. <laughs> that hurt. Why do so many enemies tell you not to move? Yeah, stay there and let me kill you. I heard someone call it John the, jo John the Joy the other day, and I thought it was a joke, but I don't know. They might actually think his name is La Joy. John La Hoy. John La Hoya. Or as his mother likes to call him, John, you're... A John, I'm ashamed you're my son. <laughs> that guy is so fucking funny. I told you about the super rich thing, right? <laughs> you hear that noise he I made? I did. Was it like a, uh, wow! His super rich thing? Yeah. No. He did a Kickstarter where he's like, I've done really well. You could say I'm rich, but I'm not super rich. So I want you to help me become super rich by donating money to me. So that I'm rich. <laughs> that is actually such a great idea. It's such a John LeJoie way to go about it. Yeah, because everyone, everyone is like going to get pissed at him, but that's the point. Have you seen uh, the oh, League? These were sturdy. Uh, no, I haven't Th really that's seen That's Lattice. Any of it. I'll have you know that. It's not designed to be sturdy. My fucking. Okay, we can't. <clears throat> we can't make those jokes where it's like, like make like joking where it's like my, my cousin did that or whatever it's like because we have the same family and the same cousins yeah yeah you could just say our cousins yeah but it's like the joke like it's like you know the joke where it's like people get like overly offended about something and they're like my mom has that thing you're not supposed to joke about oh it. yeah but you but, like, can't we, yeah. you can't do that because we both know our whole family so i can't make those jokes yeah you'd have to just be like i had a close friend who did that fuck i'm so i'm so I just, I'm so disadvantaged in life for having a good brother. I fucking hate it. Oh, no. Your good brother's frozen. <laughs> Adrenaline rush. Let it go. Do you want to become a snowman? Do you want to become a snowman? Everyone might stab you. I have never seen that movie, but I keep hearing about it. Is that Frozen? Yeah. You haven't seen Frozen? No. What's wrong with you? I've seen Zootopia. Zootopia was fucking good, too. I love Zootopia. I've seen a lot of kids' movies recently, and I've, I really like the new generation of kids' movies. Yeah. They're so much more grown they're, up than they used to be. There was a middle point. Like, like back in the day, like, Animaniacs was the type of show that would make kids, that, like, would treat kids like kids, and it had a lot of adult jokes. Um, but, like, well-written so that it wasn't, like, the kids weren't like, I'm pretty sure that's an adult joke, I just don't get it. Um, like Spongebob. Yeah, Spongebob. Fuck it, he's like... He's watching a. What is he watching? What is that? It's a. It's supposed to be like a like a female dancer. A female. You know that? Oh. And Gary walks in. Yeah, he's watching. He's watching some sort of a an exotic dancing. It's, yeah, it's like a sea anemone or whatever. <laughs> ah, Gary. He's just watching the game. <laughs> the game. <laughs> you know. That game we play. Anyway, thank you for joining us. There, I had no good way of ending that. We just we're way, we're out, we're out of time. We're over, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize, but see not you, that much. See you, see you tomorrow. See you in two days, actually. Sorry. See. You.